what were a couple of your main concerns? They're going to, they're going to, that's going to cause them to think about actual concerns, not just, I just wanted information. Good. That's fantastic. I love that. All right. So, um, tell us how you're, all right. So, so we got your why and I, I know I, like, I want to, I, I could, I, I could interview you all day. <laughs> I really could. Yeah, I know. We just, all right. So yeah. So uh, newsflash, I am recording now. You see Riddle laughing. He's like, you know, they just missed all that. Right. Like, uh, um, I was like, I'm recording now. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lisa, we may have to go through one more time. But uh, I, All right. So let, let's just do this and like, let, let's record what you're saying. Kind of just go through. And I know it's not an actual script, but just be you do you. Um, I'll highlight a little bit of it. Like I just did. So it's probably worth repeating anyway. But then I do want to kind of move on and talk about how you're getting into medical questions and how you're doing the quoting over the phone. That's the direction yeah. we're going. Okay. okay so can we, can sure. we back it up since I'm recording now? And just for you guys that are just joining us on the recording since I just started it, Lisa is not taking Facebook leads yet. She's still using her GMR. And which is why we're starting, like nobody's really done any training on that yet. We've all been so focused on trying to adjust to these Facebook leads. And it's like, whoa, we're sitting on a, we're still sitting on a coal mine. And so she's one of the first people I know that have had some success with it. And so we're, I'm interviewing her right now. So what you're getting ready to hear on the recording is she's just going to walk you through her, like her opening script of how she's calling her DMLs. And then we're going to kind of quickly move past that since we've already done this once. So, all right, Lisa. So, hit. so the basics are, and I, and I, yeah, and I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to say verbatim because again, like I said, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still coming up with this. this. This script is evolving for me and it's going to be better tomorrow. Yeah. So um, essentially, I'm just calling the lead, you know, hey, Bob, it's Lisa with the Senior Benefit Center. Um, getting back to you, uh, you had sent a request in to see if you qualified for the state regulated life insurance policy that's going to pay for some of your final expenses. Um, now, I'm the one that's uh, that's in charge of helping, you know, following up with you and being sure we we get that, you know, we 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 get that done for you. But got a couple of questions. First, I, I do ask them also, I forgot to mention this earlier. If um, if their wishes were cremation or burial, so you're and, you're, you're um, taking that from the the Facebook script and you're using it in yours. Yeah, yeah, I am using that. I did implement that, um, and uh, and we we kind of we do a little bit of rapport building. We talk about the you know the current events. Um, they're opening up about that because that's all they have to do, especially if it's final expense. They're sitting in front of the TV all day. They've got nothing else to do. <laughs> nothing. Um, so we're talking about that. And I'm saying, look, you know, this is, this is a little different for me. I got to tell you, since, this whole, since the onset of this whole thing, we have been absolutely inundated with the same request that you sent in to us. So bear with me. Normally, I would have gotten back to you a couple days ago. But I can promise you this. Before we hang up the phone, I will get this taken care of for you, okay? They're going to say, okay. And they're going to say, okay. And then what do you say right after, right if you get, like you get some acknowledgement there? <clears throat> so, so I'm going to ask you a couple medical questions just to see if you qualify. Um, my main concern is when, when you, Chris, when you sat down at your kitchen table and filled this thing out to mail into us, what were a couple of your concerns that prompted you to mail this in, to fill this out? All right. And so that's, and that's just in home 101 right there, guys. So like when we're, and like, and I, I am repeating myself a little bit, but we're all recording this now. What, there, there's an order to an in-home sale. There's, there seems to be a very, very, not shockingly similar order to a phone sale. You have an intro, all right? One of the steps, that, so our intro is a little different because we're all prepping. I mean, you heard some of what Lisa's using. She's saying things like, Gosh, I gotta be like, I am so sorry. We have been so inundated. And like what the way things are like what we're having to do right now is take care of these all over the phone. So that's part of her intro. There's a setting and expectation part that's next. So you have your intro. Let me go this way because I'm on camera. All right, you have your intro, then you have your setting expectation, acknowledgement, getting them to buy into the process right there. And then the temptation of these <laughs> are but we don't. We say, we say when you and you just heard her and she used a great line when you sat down at your kitchen table and you were filling this form out, what were some of the things you were thinking about that you had like some concerns over? What questions did you have? And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna uncover their why. And after we get that, she's gonna edify them because that's the, that's the order, right? Yep. She's, gonna, she's gonna compliment them for whatever it is they said, for wanting to take care of their family. And then she's either going to, maybe this would be an opportunity to kind of say some, some budgeting type things. That's where I sort of say, listen, I know this is kind of weird and, and I could, I could throw stuff in it. It's so, it's strange being over the phone, 
Um, but is there a number that like in your head that you just don't want to go over? I, like if I, in other words, if you're, and I see them, I say, if your budget's 50, or you just can't go over 50. And I've noticed this. If I just ask them straight up, they don't know. But if I ask them and I say, if, like, for instance, I give them a, for instance, if you can't go over 50 and I start showing, like we start quoting out things that, you know, that you could get for a hundred, I, I don't want to be that guy. And they're like, and I've had several people, like, yeah, somewhere around 50 would actually be really good. And so that's like a trial close that I'm getting right there. So at least I don't know, if, I don't know if that's what you're doing there. Uh, I don't so, do it yet. Okay, let's and see I, what you I, do. That's, that's I do that. I okay. absolutely, that is powerful right there. Um, so my next question is, okay, if we, uh, if we can get this, uh, if we can get, get this done, if we can get this taken care of for you, what date do you want it to start? Oh, oh. boom, 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 boom. Just dropping bombs all over the place. <clears throat> and so, so, so that's when, and, and coincidentally, both of them, uh, no, actually one of them told me, um, April 15th. And one of them told me the fourth a couple days from now. Um, so th that's another, that's another, another tri trial, trial close. If we can and get you approved for this, when would you want it to start? Holy yeah. crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, this is the Chris. This is a wing and a prayer. I'm telling you, this is not very I, great. I was I, telling yeah, I was I, like, I said, that girl is better than she knows or remembers. <laughs> you do stuff naturally that a lot of people have to think about. It's just <laughs> stupid. So keep going. You're doing great. All right. So, so, um, so they say, okay, my, my social security comes in on the, on the third. Why don't we make it the fourth? Okay, let's make it the fourth. Okay. Um, tell me a little bit about your health. Any, same as I do in the home. There you go. Any heart attack, stroke, cancer. Um, what That's medications right. are you taking? What medications have you been prescribed in the last five years that maybe you didn't take? Um, <clears throat> I have to be extra thorough because remember, we're not sitting there looking at their meds. Yeah. And so we want as many of these to get approved as possible. So we want to be very thorough with their medications. Um, we get to that part. Okay. Listen, um, Right now, this was my last one, the okay. move policy. Is, is, it, is this the budget thing? This is the budget thing. All right, listen up. This is how Lisa Lyon does budget. One of my <clears> top <throat> closers. Here we go. All right, so um, like I said, we're, we're, we're going to get this taken care of. Um, it's very important that you have this because 100% of us are going to die. Wouldn't you agree, Chris? Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, okay. Um, as equally as important as that is that it's in your budget. Like, I want to be sure whatever number is that we come up with in the next couple of minutes, that it's something you're comfortable with. I do the three numbers. I gr go grab a pen and paper. I make them write it down. Yeah. Because there's a lot to be said for visual um, presentation. Like, if they can see it themselves yes. versus just hear it. Because, you know how some people may hear you say numbers and it doesn't register with them as if they if they write it down they will sit there and and now they're trying to to decide which one to pick versus oh that I don't I, yeah I don't know I, I let me let me let me get back to you right so I try and have them write as much information down as I can so lady today um yeah, I could, I could probably do 15,000. This is, this is an actual close that happened right before this call. Yeah. Um, I could probably do 15,000. Probably. I'm not feeling real good about that word. You, she and you said, no, you're not just saying that to us. Did you say that to her? No, I said that to her. I'm not feeling very good about that word. I said, here's why, Brenda. If something happens unexpectedly, that's, that's going to cost you money. I'm afraid that you're going to stress out or you're going to struggle when it comes time to pay you your life insurance. I don't want that to happen. So let's do this. Let's go down to 10,000. I'll feel much better about that because you don't have anything right now. So wouldn't you agree that would be better than what you have now? The minute I said that, she was, she, I was going to write this, but I felt like she was... After I said that, she just, I could, I could almost feel, I could almost hear her shoulders relax. Yeah, she melted. Yeah. That's she huge. felt awesome about that. And guys, that's going to help your persistency, what she did right there.
That's that's a. I mean, I, I could have I could have gotten yeah I could have gotten. But what's 15, the point 000? if she's going to cancel it as soon as the first yeah. hiccup comes? Why I don't yeah so. So we got the 10, we went through, um, she did say when I, and here's another thing I want to say, like, like I cut the first one, I cringed a little bit to ask for their social and their, and their checking account number just a little bit. They didn't know that, but I'm kind of superstitious. So I feel like if I cringe, they know it. Um, yeah. and so the second one, I'm like, Oh heck no. I'm thinking to myself, this is, we need, this, this is information you're going to have to give to me. She said, well, she said, oh, my social, oh, I'm not comfortable about giving that over the phone. And I said, and as you shouldn't be, <laughs> I said, you know, you probably already know this, Brenda, but anytime somebody calls you out of the blue, just randomly rings your phone and wants your social, that's a red flag. You reached out to us. This is going directly to Mutual of Omaha. Obviously, you know who they are. <laughs> they don't really care much about your social, so you reached out happened. to us. Yeah. Boom. That's gold. Cool. Now, 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 now. I think Chris and tell me if this is if this is right. I think the majority of agents, if somebody says I'm not comfortable with giving my social, they're going to go into this diarrhea of the mouth. Yep. I should, probably shouldn't say that. No, that's okay. um, and just start talking and trying. My response was, as you shouldn't be. As you should be. That's right. Yeah. If someone were to call you out of the blue and then you didn't make, you didn't apologize or anything. You reached out to us. Uh, it, you, like you reversed it. I was like, that was, that was word judo. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> wow. Like you, you shouldn't be comfortable doing that. I mean, if anybody yeah. calls you out of the blue, yeah. never do that. silly. <laughs> yeah. What are you crazy? Yeah. yeah. I, I agree with you. Here's the thing. You reached out to us. Boom. It's over. Okay. Say that line one more time. Cause I, 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 I know you, uh, what caught my eye or ear was when you said you reached out to us, but what do you say right after that? She said, Oh, I don't know about, um, I don't remember how she said it exactly. Oh, I'm not, I don't know about giving my social out over the phone. I'm kind of uncomfortable with that. And I said, as you should be, <laughs> I said, if somebody calls you out of the blue, Brenda, and you haven't, you know, initiated that call and they just want your social security number, it's not something you want to do. This is a little bit different. Obviously you reached out to us. Uh, and this information is going directly from me to mutual of Omaha. So obviously you know who they are. So that, that was it. That's all it and, took. And then what did you say? Did you pause and she just, or did you ask for it again or? Yeah, I went back to, um, I, I don't remember exactly what okay. I said. That's okay. Yeah. But, but I mean, at that point, like we, we, we screw this up right here. This is where we screw it up because we want to defend. I'm not going to defend. I'm going to diffuse. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, that is also the same thing. You can, that same line, she just gave it to you guys. That's a banking account one too. Yeah. I could, I, I, would under, I would understand. Yeah. You, I would be nervous too. If, that, if I was a complete stranger. Now, now but, you're but, like but, them. Let me highlight. There's a word. You, there's a phrase I don't want people to use. This is a little different. Mm -hmm. Like that, mm -hmm. that's the transition. That's, that's the mm -hmm. magic right there. This is a little different. So in other words, by you're not challenging them, you're agreeing with them. Right. And then you're redirecting them instead of fighting them. You're right. not coming up against them. You're not, you're not going into like, I remember some of the rookie stuff I used to do. It's like, well, do you trust a bank? Blah, blah, blah. You know, just, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That just I makes me cringe. I, I was that guy though, you know, and we yeah, just learned and evolved. And, but what you're doing there is you're acknowledging them. You're, you're saying, absolutely. Yeah. If, if I was a complete stranger, yeah, you know, and but and then saying, but I'm not, because even that is, you just you're. It's a it's a it literally is. It's almost like a matrix move. You know what I'm talking about, or the bullet, mm -hmm. whatever. You're just literally just saying this is a little different, and so it's just a a slight nudge, and it's down a different path. And I think that's brilliant. So. I, th I think the parallel here, Chris, is when somebody says on the phone, "I'm not interested." And the agent wants to say, well, obviously you must have been interested. You feel the, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Of, uh, yeah, I don't blame you. It's, it's not interesting. Like, it's not interesting. Just, <laughs> you know, it's like we have to be agreeable. <laughs> I'm not interested. I, I agree with you. This is not interesting stuff. <laughs> See, but that, it, I mean, it guys, messes them up. Cool. It, it messes them up. It really does. Because in the sales world, the typical sales guy, 
wants to argue their case and that's not what we're about right so all right you've been dropping some serious gold um we're gonna give everybody a chance um i'm trying to figure out hey andy do you think it would be a better flow if i let everybody ask questions of lisa now before i move on to our next guest or have them do it all at the end i don't know if you can unmute and answer that seeking counsel on that my friend if he doesn't i'm just gonna make an executive call all right, so if you wanna ask Lisa a question, just raise your hand on the, uh, the little screen there. You said matrix, oh my goodness, this is gold. <laughs> okay, all right, so, oh, all right, so Jack has his physical hand up, so I'm gonna unmute him, he gets to go first. All right. I follow directions. There you go, Jack. All right, so Jack, go ahead, you're on line with Lisa Lyon. <laughs> <laughs> first right. time, long time. Yeah, first time, um, long time. First time, long time. Lisa, I was just curious, are you using any pictures or videos on the three people you worked with today? Or was it strictly over the phone? Over the phone, strictly. At the, at the very end, now talk about archaic. I took a picture of my business card and I texted it to her. Yeah, okay. that's good. All right. It's got, a, it's got my picture on it. And so she could like put a face with a voice and a, you know, a name, so. Very good. Thank Are you, you thinking about using okay. your license or pictures of your license at all or anything like that from the ATM? Nope. I'll tell you too, Jack, my, I've made four sales over the phone so far since this all started and they've all been over the phone. I haven't done any video or the best thing I've, I've done is I had a lady email or text me, her daughter text me a picture of her driver's license just so I could keep it on file. Awesome. But then, you know, Jack, I feel like, um, and this could just be me, but I feel like, that's awkward for me. And I feel like if I feel awkward, it's That's not right. going to flow like it should. That's right. Very good. I All think right, we're trying to overcompensate a little bit because of the lack of the face-to-face. -face. So we're trying to come up with these high tech ways of doing face-to-face -face and whatnot. And I love how you're just keeping it simple and anything that came up, like you said, Chris, it was just judo. Like you just redirected. <laughs> it really is. Gold. Yeah, that's good. All right, very good. All right, so I'm gonna mute Jack back out. All right, does anybody, I'm gonna scan through the crowd. There's a button you can click um, to raise your hand. So I'm gonna give everybody a second. If you have a question you wanna ask. So I'm scanning through real quick. All right, I'm not seeing anything on page three. It's like three pages of you guys. All right, I think we're good. All right, Lisa. Um, oh, Mia Fennell. Heck yeah, hang on. All right, Mia. Yeah like a VIP on this call chatting. Mia Fennell. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so you're, you're on the line with Lisa Lyon. Y'all are both live, go ahead. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, you are so awesome. Hey, um, so Thank I was you. a little bit late getting on the call. Um, just so I know, this is for the leads. This is not for the Facebook leads, right? This is for just leads you've been dialing? Correct, these are leads that came from my GMR. These are direct mail leads, yep. Okay, okay, I love it. The script is, is amazing and you, is this with the video or is this just over the phone? This is just over the phone. Yeah, there's no video. There's th this is as low tech as it comes, girl. Yeah. Okay. This is awesome. I, I'm gonna um, keep you up to date on what it how it works for me. I'm awesome. Down to Thanks. Would love Thanks to hear me. about it. Yeah. Really good. All right, Josh has got one. We'll go to him real quick. All right, uh, and you are unmuted, Josh. Go ahead, buddy. All right. Can you hear me, guys? Yep. I hear you great. Go ahead. All right. Thanks a lot. Fired up. Um, just a quick question, Lisa um are you making sure like if they have a spouse and if they were looking for somebody else other than them and if they do have a spouse do you get them on the phone and kind of do it with both of them like like great you know? question great question um I, the one that i ran into tonight did have a spouse and she was at work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call them tomorrow morning and i'm going to get them on speakerphone the one that i called tonight had a spouse and so we we all got on speakerphone so they could hear me that's that's brilliant and um and i'll tell you that i i think that is going to be one of our advantages using the dmls they're a little more hardy they can withstand a reschedule whereas i'm not mm -hmm. sure the facebooks can <laughs> like the the facebook you got to move fast and that's cool you know because if you can if you can move real quick it's all good but i i, I just I, I just think that is one of the advantages of our classic lead it, these are handy they do cost I, I, more, absolutely but, yeah there's, there's something about it and, I don't know. I think it speaks volumes to it. Go ahead. You had a There's comment. one more thing I just want to say Please. real quick, yep. if I could. 
we want to, with, with the telephone, we want to refrain from saying information. Because once we say information, we're, we're pinning ourselves into a corner that we can't get out of. Qualify. You're one. Yes. Qualify. Yes. We are calling to take care of it. The minute we say we're calling to get this information to you, just yeah. put it in the mail. That's just our line to get in the house. We're not trying right. to get in the house. And it, right. it reminded me of something. I want to say it right now. I was talking to Big Mike earlier. And he was, he was struggling a little bit with like some of the numbers he was hearing. I was like, listen, this is a hybrid between making dials and doing in, inside the sales. I said, think about it. Cause he was going through some of his numbers and he wasn't sure how they were. And I said, if you make 10 appointments and you set five, which is going to be normal, like for especially a new person, you expect to sell two or three. So if you talk to 10, you're only going to sell two. Mm -hmm. and so when you put that in perspective, that this is a hybrid, it just takes all kind of pressure off. We're forgetting, we're removing an entire step. Like it's always been a trickle down, always, except now there's no gas involved. <laughs> there's no time on the road. And so just think about that. Like it, 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 it is something to really consider that we're going from, instead of going from like dials, like we, we have several steps. You got dials, contact, blah, 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 blah. That's in this world, that's not exactly relevant, I'm finding. You've got people that you connected with. You have dials, then you have the contacts, and then you have sales. You don't mm -hmm. have appointments anymore. This, you're connecting those two. So, but the, the numbers didn't change. You're still going to go from 10 contacts to two sales or three sales, depending on your skill, maybe four sales if you're fantastic. And that's okay. So just something I wanted to I had the, I think the mentality I had when I hung up the phone with you this morning was back to that book, Go For No. Like, I just didn't care. It's like, I'm just going to screw everything up and figure out how to do this thing. And now I'm so fired up. Like, I probably won't even sleep tonight. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, this, this took me like 30 to 40 minutes. And driving in my car, we all know how big this city is. Yeah. I can't work nearly as efficiently, which equals money right? hundred percent. I can't do that. Like I can sitting at my desk. It's crazy. Think, and yeah. the more we do it, the better we're going to get. Yeah. I think if we do this right, I think all of our volumes should go up. I mean, there's okay. going to be some people that work less and that's just people, mm -hmm. but for right. us that like are used to like kind of putting in that, I, I just think it's going to shoot up. Um, mm -hmm. right, last question for Lisa and it's going to go to, um, Oh yeah. Andy Riddle wants me to mention this because it's, um, it is relevant to the DMLs that we're talking about. Now, regardless of what contract rate you are, you can get the DMLs as long as they're A1, A2, like not the A's, brand new ones, but anything multi-A and below is you get that at the 55%, which means an A1 DML, final expense is like eight bucks for all of us. That's crazy. An A3, Lisa, is $3. Whew. I mean, it's just I mean, we're excited about the ten dollars stuff, but all of a sudden, especially uh -huh. with the national prices going on, I'm thinking, because I mean, I'm like, man, we're I need to go get some leads. And here's the thing: you can get them in any city of any state that you're licensed in. Yep. So that's there's one more thing I, I want to uh, my my cool down. <clears throat> this is important too because this this to me is going to be the determining factor of whether or not they get off the phone freaking out thinking i just gave this person all my information yeah talk to us what do you got so, this is good. so the cool down is very similar to this okay chris i should know something on this uh from the insurance company within the next three to four business days um if if this thing gets approved they're going to mail you your policy what I'm going to do is I want you to call me as soon as that comes. Once this whole crazy virus junk settles down, if you have any questions, let's meet in person. Um, um, and so once they hear that, th this one guy said, oh, you're, in, you're, you're local. And I said, yeah. Oh, okay. He goes, I didn't know. I guess because a lot of times you call these guys and they're like 800 numbers or something. I don't know. So for um, somebody like Brian that's working some California leads, it's not realistic, but he could still use that same technique. If you have any questions, like, please let me know as soon as you get it. And uh, we can schedule, we can take, we can do a conference call. I'll get it set up. We can go, like, I'd love to be able to see you in person and go through this. So you, you can still take what she's saying and make it relevant even to what we're doing. It, it just makes them feel like before you hang up the phone, like, yeah. you, like you've got more of a commitment into this thing. than You're, you're giving yeah. them something after they've given you everything. And that right. makes them feel safe. That's the psychology. It's a good analogy. You don't have yes. to give them anything now. 
but the right. fact that you do it shows further commitment that you're a decent person. Yep. Huge. All right, one more question. That's Tony, and then we're going to move on to our next uh, next guest. So I'm going to lower your hand and I'll unmute you. All right, Tony, go ahead, bro. We can hear you. Hey, Lisa. Hey. Hey, Stud. <laughs> two, two questions. One is how do you have your table set up before you make that call? Where do you have your iPad? Are you are, have you already opened up the NAA site to get ready to do an electric uh, application? Also, toward the wind down, were you able to try to finagle any referrals? So, <clears throat> I'm going to answer your first question as honestly as I possibly can, and I am no frills. Okay, I go by the seat of my pants, so mm -hmm. I have no idea what I'm going to write them. I don't have any health. I don't have any underwriting guy. I nothing. I got nothing. Nothing. I, 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 and here's what I know. I know that the minute I need it, I can get it. I can access it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like to overwhelm myself with all the details. I just like, I just get on the phone and do it. It's good. Um, right. And I, I just, I have, I have my laptop sitting in front of me and a bottle of water or coffee. Um, as far as the, um, referrals is where he was going. The referrals. I, you know what? I didn't, but, but, but I think it's a good idea that we do. Yeah. I haven't really done that yet either. And I, that's just, I, I think it's cause we're all sort of learning and trying to get this part down. I think we yeah. will. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Questions. All right. Sure. All right, guys. Um, Y'all uh, give it up for Lisa. I mean, we can't hear you clapping. So just <laughs> on the riddle. Oh, you, you can hear, you can see the, 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 <laughs> the, the death clapping. Um, give her some love on the riddle chat. I think she poured into all of us tonight. Um, reminded us of some basic skills that I think in the hype of all the Facebook stuff that this sort of grounded us and reminds us how methodical this really is. And it's so much more, it's, it's weird to say this, but it's like a science. You know, like it, like once you understand the parts and how they work. And so, um, my, that's good. All right. So, um, let's go over, let's switch gears a little bit. Um, I do want to go to some uh, people that have been doing some Facebook stuff. And so, um, Joseph, I'm going to go to you. And then, Brian, I'm going to go to you next. That's kind of the order that I want to do this. Okay. So, Joseph, I'm going to unmute you. You are now unmuted. Let me hear you. Give, give me a, some kind yeah, of. Yeah, can you hear me, Chris? I can hear you great. All right. So, Gosh. Joseph is part of the Dynamic KG team. And uh, they. it's kind of cool because the coronavirus is horrible, but it turns out Heidi's pretty pregnant right now anyway. And so being able to work from home and figure this stuff out, it's opened up all kinds of doors for him. And so Joseph, could you kind of give us some comments on what you've heard so far? Um, you know, any takeaways you got from Lisa? And then I want you to kind of just get into what we've been talking on some of these national calls just for these guys. And then we're going to open it up for questions. Joseph has been working exclusively, correct me if I'm wrong, but Facebook leads. So like over the last few days, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. He's, so he's hundred percent Facebook uh, as of right now. So Joseph, give us a little background and kind of, um, we, we don't have to go, I mean, we got to kind of keep this abbreviated a little bit, but give us a little background on kind of what you're doing and how you got into doing this and like how, how, when you made your first, like when you made that first purchase, what was going through your mind? And then also what were some things that you were probably doing wrong that you learned from that you changed and it's working for you? So Joseph Cagey, everybody. Absolutely, man. Chris, I appreciate the opportunity just to kind of pour into you guys. Um, I'm grateful. The first thing I'll say is it just I love the fact that the team that we have. Um, I mean, everything that's going on right now, um, people are talking about problems and struggles that are going through. And here at the Alliance, we're talking about what we're going to do and see this as an opportunity instead of a problem. Um, and that just fired me up just seeing that energy with all this stuff going on. So, um, Lisa, you crushed it. That, I got so much out of it. I can't I'm wait sorry. to purchase some more leads and get some stuff. That was some good, like, I don't even know what to say anymore uh, when you talked what you just said. It was so good. It was. Um, but I definitely, so uh, the first time I, per I was like, Lisa, um, at first I was like, okay, so we're going to get them over the phone and, and they're just going to give us their social. They're gonna get yeah. I, had, I was nervous. I'm not even going to lie. I mean, I love meeting people face to face. My wife and I, we get to do this together. We're grateful to do that. Um, so I'm like, how are we, this is something so new. Um, and the first thing I thought about was I remember when we first started and, you know, I was, a I used to recruit for Chris in the office and it reminded me of when people got started first, 
we just wanted them. Like, I remember our first appointment, my wife and I went out in the field. We had four appointments. And I remember looking at my wife. I said, babe, all we got to do is fail because if we fail, we got something to get coached on because these guys are doing it. So there's something they're doing right that we don't know yet. And when I started hearing that people were making sales and they were doing it, I remember real called me and said, have you thought about it? I said, dude, if there's a way and people are doing it, I know if I, even if I spent, so the first thing I did was I spent $300 and my thought process behind even the $300 after talking to Riddle and Chris and Nick and Brian was if I don't make a sale, I'm probably going to mess up so much that I can invest another 300 and I'll learn again. I just felt like a new agent, yeah. um, like going out in the field. This is something totally new. I don't know what I'm doing. And also like, I think a lot of times it's the change. Like a lot of us, we got used to, especially me, I should say, I got used to like, okay, I'm going out in the field and, and we've been going out of the field full time for about 11 months now. Um, so, you know, we got that part down where we, we know how to do the ATM. We know how to call and set the appointment. I know how to go through objections and all of a sudden, boom, we're doing something new. Yeah. Um, and that, that's scary. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I just attacked it. I was, I was kind of like Lisa mentality. I was like, these guys are doing it. I can't, I'm a lion. You don't know the things, but it's a, it's a character. I'm, I'm competitive. And I just saw our team getting fired up and they're working together. I said, I didn't need to be a part of this. Um, and that's what fired me up. So immediately I talked to Riddle for like 30 minutes. And while I was on the phone, he's like, he's like, so when are you going to purchase them? I was like, dude, I just purchased $300 right now. I was like, when are they coming in? I was excited to try it. <laughs> so they first started coming in and I did, um, the biggest mistake I made and Chris touched on it. Um, the leads started coming in and I called them and I got fired up cause I called them to book the appointment and it was like the easiest book ever. I was like, yeah, what I'll do is I'll, so I got my first batch of leads on um, Thursday morning. And as soon as they came in, I just picked up the phone. I called them just like a regular appointment. Like I'm doing going to the house and I booked it to, I'll call you at three 30. Yeah. And I remember like one called, I felt like so good. Cause I was sitting next to Heidi and I got a lead. I was like, babe, watch how easy this is. And I booked it and I was like, look at that. And I, so I booked four appointments and I got no showed on every single one. Every one of them. Um, I was like, oh, shoot. And then, so on the second one that got no-showed, I got a lead that came in like five minutes later. And I just remember thinking like, man, I've heard people are saying that a lot of people are no-showing. What if I just try to sell her this? And I realized other people were doing this. We just haven't communicated yet. I thought I like came up with a master plan. <laughs> but so I talked to the first lady and I didn't have the Facebook script yet. It wasn't out. Um, I just winged it. I was using the coronavirus. I was like, I remember her name was Susan. I said, hey, Susan, this is Joseph. I'm calling you from the Senior Benefit Center with the state of Florida. It looks like you were just on Facebook to see if you qualify for the affordable state-regulated life insurance program. And immediately she was like, yeah, I was just on it. And I said, well, that's great. I said, listen, this thing is totally different for us. Normally we go out, we come see you. And I was just using the fact that, like, this is brand new. Like, I'm still figuring this out. Um, and I, was, I, I tried to build rapport. I was, like, totally winging it with her. Um, and I, I was able to make the sale on that one. Um, no pushback, no anything. I was, I was excited. So I just started doing that right off the bat. Um, two of them after I was trying to build some rapport. Lisa talked about when somebody comes to you with the social and the bank, you turn into the sales guy. Yeah, that was me for sure. Um, <laughs> one guy said, he didn't want to give me the social. I was like, dude, I understand. I don't like give my social either, but I mean, we got to do this. You want the life insurance. They might not get, I was trying to pressure him and he was like, well, I'll call you. It didn't work. Right. Um, the next appointment I was on the phone and I remember being nervous because this was the second appointment that I tried. I was trying and two. So the first call was a sale. The next two were no sales. I messed up bad. Um, I was like trying to build so much rapport and then I tried to go jump into the application. I asked them for their social and their bank account info back to back. No go. That's not good. Um, and it was cause I was nervous. Yeah. Now the fourth one, I'm on the phone and I think it was either Chris or Lou that popped that Facebook script on. And I remember I like looked at it and I just started reading it. Like I literally was like, I, I, I think I started the appointment three minutes in and I literally like went back and restarted all over again. I use a script. I felt so comfortable. It, it, I mean, that script to me has helped me so much um, because literally it gives you point by point. And then kind of like Lisa, I've just been winging it off of that script. Um, just letting them know this is something different we're doing. You know, hey, I, I usually come out and meet you face to face. Um, my buddy Nick Griffin gave me a, a tip. It helped me a lot. 
um, what I was do, what I'm doing now, what Nick said he did is texting a picture while he's talking to them of his, his like Lisa said, the old school of the uh, business card. Now Nick's has his license number on it. Mine, ours don't. So what I did on my last appointment, and it may even made me feel more comfortable, and I can tell they felt more comfortable. As the appointment went on, I told them, I said, hey, this is what I'm going to do. Normally, you know, because we're doing this over the phone, nothing I'm doing is video. Um, I said, normally I get to kind of show you who we are and it gets personal. I'm going to shoot. Just let me know when you get this information and save it under my phone number. Here's a picture. My wife, Heidi, and I, we actually do this together. Here's a picture of our, our business card. It's got our information on it. And also, here's a picture of our state license number. I said, look, HIPAA laws, we want to make sure that you know we are licensed and certified through the state of Florida to actually be able to help you in this time. Um, and then I sent them a picture of Heidi and, Heidi and myself. I said, do you have an iPhone or Android? And if they have an iPhone, a lot of times I, I walk them, that person through saving my number in their phone with our picture. And then we just started chatting. She's like, oh, your wife's so pretty. We started talking about kids. I felt like that helped a lot. Report. Um, and I made, I, I got her uh, mutual home, my living promise and accidental and her husband a policy. It just, it felt good. Um, it made me feel like I'm kind of sitting with them. That was kind of my biggest nervousness. Like Lisa, I initially thought the hardest part of this was going to get their social and bank account info. And once I figured out how to get behind, I think Lisa, I think I agree with you a lot. I think because I was so nervous on getting it, I, I do feel like they felt it because I remember feeling like, um, all right, so I will need that bank account because I was nervous. I, once I just, I relaxed and I, and truthfully, I'm, I'm being honest, we're looking at these articles that are coming out and I don't know if people aren't going to get coverage. Like, I don't know if, if I was nervous and I didn't help, my aunt passed away, did not have coverage. I don't want to be the guy because I was nervous. So I'm, I, I became more bold. I just said, you know, Hey, listen, this is, and I didn't have a problem with it. Um, Another tip that I do want to share um, because it helped me, Chris is right. When the Facebook leads come in, we got to call them right away. Um, I've had the most success as soon as they come in. So one mistake that I did made early on is when you do buy a batch, if you're buying them through the state, um, one thing that I didn't prepare myself was they're going to just keep trickling in. Um, so I had like one day prepared and but some trickled in the next day. And because my scheduling, I did not schedule to be having leads coming in that day. I was like, oh, I'll call that in like 30 minutes. And my success was not as good. Ah, that's crazy. At all. That's so um, I would suggest like I'm going to be calling them on Wednesday and Thursday this week. So I'm going to purchase them on Tuesday. So I'm prepared. I'm, I'm, I'm almost like I'm in the field that day. Like that's my field day. So I'm going to either be at the office or be here. And I'm going to be sitting by my phone like a fiend waiting for these things to come in. Um, so that's, that's another tip. And the last thing I will say that's helped me even after that, they were like, after, like, I do believe when they're, they're done trying to call them, you don't get a hold of them. I started sending out a text message. Um, and just literally, cause it's almost like door knocking somebody. So I took those leads that I had and I took every single one of them. And I, Chris had an IT background, so he did something a lot easier than I did, but I literally <laughs> personally texted every single one. Um, and I can share this either in band or we'll put my number, however they want to share it. There's an article that says that insurance companies may stop accepting applications yeah. because of the COVID. So the, the text that I was sending would just say something simple. And again, I'll post this if you need it. I'll give my number. I'll send you the exact text. It's just, hey, let's say their name was Linda. This is Joseph with the state of Florida. We got your request to see if you qualify for the affordable life insurance program. I wanted to make sure that I don't forget about you. Right now, we still are accepting applications. Still. If you are looking at qualified today, you can give me a call. As we, and I said it twice in the text, as we're still accepting applications today. Um, I got one sale. A lady called me back, and I literally treated her like a lead. And it got me one extra sale for doing that one extra thing instead of just, it's like door knocking the person. Yeah, it's one extra. Yeah. You know? That's yeah, so I'm excited, man. I'm fired up. I think it's an awesome opportunity. It's it's very cheap. I mean, at, like you said, at 300 bucks for 30 leads. I mean, and you can buy them in the whole state. Let's just I say, buy, like, let's say you double down. Point. You spend 300 or 400, and you don't make a sale, and you you gamble again. You make one two sales. You're in the black. I mean, it's just. I mean, compared I just to like. Think you know, it, 
Go ahead. One one important thing that I I, I know, and it's, it was for me that was big, and I'm grateful for the team that we got around us. I mean, we're feeding off of each other. I mean, we're all learning. We're all still going through. You know, we're, we're failing, but treat yourself like a new agent. Like, what did you do when you first came in? You didn't know how to sit in front of people. You didn't know how the ATM went. You didn't know the product stuff. This is the same thing. You know, you may not know what to do, but now people are, are succeeding. We're all, we're messing up. But I mean, even, even I messed up on a 300, I still turned a profit off of all the messes, mess ups that yeah. I did. I mean, so it's, it's pretty cool. It's awesome that we're, instead of just sitting around and trying to figure out what to do, we found a solution and we're, we're all like little kids excited, we are. you know? So yeah, I'm fired so up, true. man. I'm, I'm excited. All right. So let's open up some questions uh, for, for Joseph. And I see Mia's got her hand up. I don't know if it's because I didn't lower it or not, but we'll let her talk what regardless. And all right. Mia, yeah. I, I, did you have a question? Yeah. Um, so, Hey, Joseph. What's up, Mia? What's up? <laughs> okay, so question. Um, when these leads are coming in so fast, I mean, how is everybody, how are you managing that with, you know, if you're on the phone with someone and then you get another lead just like, I mean, how is that working? That's you? a good question. So um, it was the first time for me, it was chaos. Um, but I, I want to almost say like it was fun chaos because they are coming in so you're on the phone and then you see one come in. And for me personally, I'm trying to get off the phone. I'm thinking, um, now I know I was talking to Riddle and I don't know if this is going to be possible, but one of the biggest things that I was hoping we could do, I know the minimum was 300 and I haven't experimented this yet. If I do and it works, I'll let you know if there's a way we can like get maybe 20 at a time or 15 at a time and then get another 15 once those are done. He said that is a possibility, but as of right now, as soon as they turn on, I'm just trying to hit them as fast as possible. Riddle also gave me an idea. I may just have my team in the office with me yeah. um, six feet apart. Boop, boop, boop. And if one comes in, I'm like, hey, here, you can take this one. And then when you get one, give it to me. Yeah. We'll, we'll exchange leads together. That was an advice. So my first experience, it was, I mean, as soon as I got off the phone, you're right. I was, I was calling the next one and then three more came in. I continued to just keep calling. Um, I would love to tell you that I found a solution, but. I do know Riddle was giving me the advice of have one of your teammates there, have somebody there together. And if one comes in, I can give them one. And then whenever they get, I'm like, Hey, give me one of yours whenever they come in and try to bounce it off. This is so new um, that I, I am still learning on I, it. I love the idea. And we could probably work with John a little bit. He's the Facebook guy for people that don't know it. Like if, if Joseph, if team cage, you had a, like had your two days, like two team days that, I mean, that, I, I think that's awesome. I know another thing we're able to do, uh, it, it, I haven't done it yet, but he said it was possible. We can set up groups. So let's just say hypothetically. Um, and so Joseph, I'm going to use you and Nick just because you guys are good buddies. So if y'all, we can create, uh, I guess, groups. And if they both agree to take the same state, he can round robin those leads out. So all of a sudden a $300 order becomes a 150 and you get 15 leads instead of 30 which might be more manageable. So we may experiment probably this week might be a good idea to do it. So I don't know what your thoughts are on that, Joseph, but that is, that came yeah. from one of our manager calls. And the cool thing is like, I, I texted him um, because I think I just saw, um, I'm not sure who it was that said something. I think it was Billy Crane. And he was saying that he ordered his Facebook leads and got like all 30 at one time. Yeah. So there, there, it, one thing that I did, I texted him after, um, and, and I said, hey, um, I'm going to put in another purchase. And I literally said, I said, is there a way if I could like trickle them in? And he mentioned, he's like, let me know if you're going to work the whole state. I can possibly send you 15. And then when you're done with those, let me know and I'll, I'll send you another that's, 15. So see, that's huge. there's flexibility there. Um, I mean, it's, I think it's one of those things where like I'm almost trying to build a relationship with him as well now, like kind of like what we do. Um, so as of now, I think that's the best thing we can do. I mean, yeah, he told me he can. I'll do it on Wednesday and I'll get back to you guys to see how that works. That's, that's awesome. All right, so we've got a couple more questions for Joseph. Um, we'll go to Tanisha next. She had her hand up next. And in case I saw you raise yours. So I'm gonna lower your hand, Tanisha. Now I'm unmuting you. All right, Tanisha. Hey, um, y'all. So my question is to not Joseph, 
specifically to who Chris, maybe you can answer it. What happens when we're on the phone and we are not sure what products to write them with? Like if we're in a home, we'll normally call somebody. So what do we do in that instance? I, um, I, 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 and I'll give my perspective here and I welcome anybody, any of these other producers perspective as well. But I, I think it's just being as real as you possibly can. Like, remember earlier when I said when something's awkward, if you just say it's awkward, it's not awkward mm -hmm. anymore. And so right. in that same same type of, I guess, vein, we what you might do is say, you know what, get, can you, um, I want to call a senior underwriter because you're kind of on the bubble of a couple different and I don't want to give you bad information. Uh, can, you, can you hold on for just a second and you could call either on another line, which I think almost everybody has like, you know, you can put, hold, put somebody on hold to call or get on the riddle chat. You know, if, if you're part of that and just ask that question, we're all being pretty responsive um, right now for sure. And, and it, I mean, cause let's face it, everybody's at home looking at their phones. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, cool. I, that's, I will say, um, go ahead, Joseph. Yeah. I'll I'd, I'd love some of you. I had a, I had a, yeah, I had a teammate. It's a great question. I had a teammate of mine that was dialing. He hung up the phone and then called me and then it came to my head and it, it worked together. We started doing this. So if you have an upline that you could do this with or somebody that you know, um, we're limited on the products as of right now. So like as of right now for us, we're just doing Mutual of Omaha, CFG's coming soon, and then Great Western AIG. That's it. So when what I told what I told one of my teammates, I said, hey, while you're in the home, or I'm sorry, not in the home, while you're on the phone, as you're asking questions, have your phone out so you can text me. So while he was talking to the person on the phone, he was texting me like he was asking to your age, any medications, and then he built a little rapport, but when he asked those questions, he was texting me the information. So I could look up stuff, and he's building a little bit of rapport after that so we can work together. Um, and it worked, it worked perfectly. Um, so if you can have an upline, you can say, hey, I'm gonna be calling some leads there, some people, like a group chat. Um, I mean, you can, you can shoot me your info, I'll try to help as best as I can. And just, there's basic things you need to know when you're going for Mutual of Omaha, Living Promise, or, uh, I mean, Great Western or AIG. I mean, I think at, at all ends fails, especially at a time like this. If you don't know and can't get a hold of them, you can go to Great Western and just ask them those three questions. If they say no, they're going to get graded or this. Yeah. I mean, okay. that's, that, that's what we did and it worked. Yeah. I, all right. Cool. One of the Thank nice you. things is like for brand new people, this is actually really simple. It, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a double-edged sword. We're so limited in what we can write. So that's bad, and I guess, in some respects. But at the same time, it makes it so easy to product place. And so two of my policies I've written this week over the phone were forced or strong foundation. So if you do happen, like, the reason Joseph is saying that is he's working exclusively Facebook leads, which are exclusively final expense seniors. If you're getting, like, I had some mortgage protection ones come in. It was a DML, and I worked that. And so, you know, we can do Foresters. We can do Nassau Re. And so... There's a couple other things, but for the most part, especially if you're working Facebook, it's either going to be Living Promise or, like you said, one of the guaranteed products, AIG or Great Western. So. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm going to mute you back there. Okay. And then Casey, you're coming up next. Let me unmute you. All right. This will be the last question for Joseph. Because we got to keep moving. I got some other people I want to chat with. Go ahead, Casey. Okay. So my qu quick question. Um, Whenever you're doing these leads, are you calling them to set an appointment or um, for like a later time? Are you calling to close business or does the situation change? I always call and set the, like as soon as it comes in, I call them and it's an appointment as soon as they get on the phone. I just feel from our feedback from our guys and what I experience, if I set an appointment, they will not be there. If I get them on the phone, they're there right then. I'm setting the appointment. A lot of times they come in hot. So like that person just was on Facebook, which means their phone is still in their hand. Yeah. Like a lot of, that's what most of the time what happens. They're on Facebook and they're scrolling and all of a sudden they send it. Two minutes later, I get it. Three minutes later, they get a call from me and I'm doing the appointment right then and there. That's okay. Great. So that's why it's important to get them, to get them called back as soon as they come in because they're hot and ready to go ahead and go. So it's more, it's more like a closing of business then, but there may be situations where appointment is necessary, correct? Um, possibly. I haven't dealt with it, to be honest with you. I don't know. I, I don't want to say there is, but most of the time when I've called them, especially with the Facebook script, it asks you like, 
on the script, I go by that. It says, do you have five or 10 minutes of your time right now? I've never had one person tell me no, because everybody's got time right now. They're sitting at home and they're bored. I'm a friend to talk to. They're quarantined. Yeah, if they yeah, answer, there's a good likelihood they've got five minutes. Okay, thank you. Right. I appreciate your answer, Martin. Of course. Oh, thank you, Casey. Good question. All right, so, uh, oh, Brian Rojas has a question. <laughs> One of our speakers, hang on. All right, buddy. Hey. But, yeah, my question was just kind of like a, a comment, actually. Um, can y'all post, or Chris, if you can send out that, that text that you guys were sending out? Yeah. I don't, I'd appreciate that, man. Yeah, do you want to put Chris, on, do you want to, like, Riddle Chat? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, 100%. I'll, Thank I'll you, repost it. We'll figure out a way to maybe make those sticky somehow. Maybe ban. All right, very good. All right, so um, let me mix it up a little bit. Um, I was going to go to Brian next, but I, I, Lou joined on too. So what I'd like to do, if she's ready, uh, I'd like to get Annette Clark. She, this was her, on that, I'm going to unmute you real quick. Make sure you can hear me. All right, there you go. Can you say something, Annette? Can you hear me? I can hear you great. Thank you. So t tell everybody a little bit about like, um, you, um, how, how many days have you been doing this? Was today your first day or is it your second day? Well, Actually, over the, phone, over the phone, over the phone. You've been with us for years. So last week I tried doing it over the phone with my um, GMR leads. Okay. And I had listened to one of the calls and people said that they were booking appointments for like the following day. And so I had booked up actually quite a few appointments last week and I was getting ghosted. Yeah. Um, and so I was so frustrated. And then I heard about the Facebook leads and that, you know, you know, lit me up. I was like, oh my gosh, this is exciting. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, so today I was very discombobulated because um, I'm trying to do the Facebook leads and I'm trying to do the GMR leads, but I had, uh, appointment set for today. Uh, it was a direct marketing lead of a final expense lead. And um, it, it was an elderly lady who did not know how to use the, her computer. And this and was a so Facebook I, lead to clarify that? No, this was a direct marketing. Uh, okay. So CMR same thing lead. as Lisa. So yes. again, okay. So this is one that you got in. Yes. In and, um, and basically I said the same thing, you know, that Lisa was saying that, you know, normally I would make an appointment with you and come sit in your home, but you know, things have changed and, um, and I'm just building rapport with her on the phone as if I'm just sitting in her, in her living room. And I said, but we're going to have to do this all over the phone now. And, um, she says, well, I don't know how to do all that. And I said, well, do you have any family members? And she said, yeah, my daughter lives with me. And so we rescheduled an appointment for today so that her daughter could be there to help her with the email process of doing the electronic application. Again, it's a testament to the hardiness or the stickiness of the DML leads over the Facebook. Uh, and and I'm, not, I'm not selling you guys on one or the other. I want you to recognize the characteristics of each. That's literally my point. Because um, you got to know what you're working with. But I... I, I actually said this on our manager chat. I said they can withstand a re reschedule. They're hardy, like a like a tough plant. You know, the Facebook, ah, ah, not as much, but they're cheap. So there you go. So all right. So how did you feel about it? You, are you excited about this too, Annette? Oh, words can't describe. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Um, most of you probably haven't seen me for a while. Um, I've had some medical issues and, um, it's just, this is just, um, been the most exciting thing that's ever come about is that we can do this over the phone now. Yeah. Uh, and it, and yes, it, it has been difficult, um, for me, like when Lisa said she was nervous this morning, when I started calling leads and, and having to do it over the phone, my palms were sweating. <laughs> Ah, why why am like I so nervous? Girl again. Yes. Um, That's funny. But, you know, it's just when you start just being yourself and letting yourself be comfortable with people on the phone and just pretend that you're sitting there on the sofa with them, it, it just flows just as easy as if you're in home 
verse, you know, and I did not do any video chatting. Yeah. Um, it was just all over the phone. That's wonderful. Awesome. Well, I'm excited for you. Um, it, it, and you are, you're an example because there's, there's a lot of people out there either through medical limitations or situa family situations that literally just can't get out and go run appointments. But now we can hire people like that, teach them how to get these leads, teach them the script that is so simple that anybody could just almost read it. Absolutely. Right? And then put them to work and get them making money. I'm so <laughs> excited. The door so much. It's crazy. So absolutely. Right. Thank you. Annette. I got to move a little, I'm going to speed up a little bit because I, I recognize we're after nine o'clock, but thank you for being a part of the call tonight. Let thank me, you for having me. Absolutely. All right, Rojas, you know what? I'm going to unmute you and Lou at the same time. You know, we're both two Tampa stallions here. Um, Rojas kind of, kind of, and I've got, there's some stuff I want to do at the end. There's some people that want me to show, I'm going to share my screen. So Stephanie, I see what you're writing on there. I will show you how to export those, uh, those leads into an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, if you're deal. So that's on me. Uh, but I do want to kind of wrap up because, it, you know, I, and I want to give people an opportunity to ask you and Lou some questions. Cause here's what I know. Like I know since I've, I guess we've been spotlighted a little bit by NAA as a team that has had some early success with this. Have, have your phones been ringing off the hook by chance or your text, you're trying to work. And it's like, Oh my gosh, everyone wants a private conference call with you. And, um, and I, and it's cool. And I want to help everybody I can, but if we could learn to use these opportunities to where we get guys like, like Lou, give us your numbers real quick since you started doing this. You got them handy. Brian, get yours ready too. So last week I got 20 leads in. Uh, spoke to, I forgot if it was 11 or 12. I spoke to 11, I think it was. Might have been 12 and closed eight. And then. Um, see why people are calling him. <laughs> <laughs> and then today um, I dialed a bunch. I got like, I got six. Oh, so last night I got six in last night. None of them, one answered, sold that one. Uh, and then today. I didn't get, I got one or two in today. I didn't get many in. So I started dialing my, um, my GMR. Yeah. Yeah. And I finally got through, I got through to one of my GMRs and sold them a term, a term plan, uh, over the phone. It was, um, I mean, I had to change some words and stuff like that, but it wasn't that difficult to do. Did once, you see once what I, I threw out there, like the revised script that I kind of customized for our DMLs. I don't know if you got a chance to see that yet. I have, I have not seen that. No. So I just was spinning my own. Here, I'm going to, yeah. well, yeah, and that's totally cool. Um, I'll post it here so people can pull it up on the Zoom chat. All right, so while I'm posting that, and here's what I'm doing. I want, I want you to understand how they're not, they're not going to tell you they're good, but they're good. They're, they're, they're having some early success, and I'd like to use this for them. If you have a question, this is the time to ask them, not after everybody hangs up and you know, like they're trying to work. So if you could, the, the, I just be respectful of their time. Use this time right now to ask them. So, Brian. While I'm typing out the the, uh, the the thing on the Zoom so people can click on it, and Joseph did post uh, the uh, the text that he sent out on the Zoom chat. So if you just awesome. hit the chat button, y'all can copy and paste that if you want. And I'm getting ready to throw that. So Brian, go through your numbers real quick while I get this out to everybody as well. Awesome guys. So hey, and I've only dialed these internet leads for the past three days. I got 60 leads. I spoke to 22 people. And of those 22 people, I helped six people. And in the past three days, I've written a, uh, a little over $4,235 in the AP. In How many days. states have you worked? How many what? States have you worked? Two states. Two states. Just All the, East Coast, West Coast. Come on, baby. We, three cups of time. coffee each day. We ain't playing around. <laughs> um, right. And. Go ahead. What, go ahead. Oh my, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna have you go through like some of your struggles that you had, and then what like what's been your biggest aha that seems to be working. So let's yeah. let's have you, and then we'll pop right over to Lou and do the same thing. Then we'll open up for questions. Good deal. So um, some of the struggles that I that I came across early on was not knowing what to say in the beginning, and uh, I went 0 for five. I went 0 for five until Lou did that call with Albright, and you guys put that script together. That changed my whole, that changed the game for me. You know, I no longer have to have pressure on me. All I had to do was follow that, that script and it was gold. It took care of everything, okay? Um, the other thing that I struggled with was getting the banking information. 
Ooh, and getting to us, baby. Come on. Yeah. Getting the banking information and getting the, um, the social security number. And this is why, guys, if you are new, if you are struggling with this mentally, it doesn't matter whether you're new or you've been in the game for a while. Um, if you're struggling with this part, this is why, like, plugging into these calls or going to boot camps or listening to TWC, this is why it's so important because I'm using stuff that Brand Swindell said in the boot camp, you know, to get the social. So one of the things that I'm using was I remember I was sitting in the front in a boot camp and Brand Swindell said the easiest way that he gets a social is when he asks, okay, are you a United States citizen? And they say, yeah. I'm like, well, what's your social? <laughs> it's just, well, especially for my hispanic folks they want to prove that they're u.s citizens right oh, so yeah like, yeah what are you talking about all right what's your social then huh? so i write <laughs> i write it down that's that's called burying the lead uh it's a, it comes from newspaper terminology but it's uh it's silly like yeah. you ask a big question and you hear how his voice was louder to start yeah. with and then he downplayed the information that he really wanted so he front loaded it with the question, um, are you a U.S. citizen? Yeah. Okay. What's your social? And it's a trick. It's a psychological trick, but it works. It's called burying the lead. So you, you introduce something easy and big, almost like that's the problem. And then you downplay what you actually need. Yeah. And so I, I kind of use that same technique with the bank too. <laughs> Do you have a United, so, you have a checking account in the United States? That's, that's wow. my. Hey, dude. And that, you know, I, I think about three days ago, we were talking because I was having struggles with that too, yeah. getting the banking info. And you just told me, look, if you make it a big deal, it's going to be a big deal. If you don't make it a big deal, it's not going to be a big deal. So I just, it's a mindset thing. You've got to switch it off or switch it on. Um, and I think once you do that, Chris, it, it's just a game changer. You know what I mean, bro? 100%. That's good. Um, so other things that I'm doing... So I'm hearing people that they're not doing FaceTime or they're not doing, and that's cool. Um, I just kind of play it along, Chris. Like I've done some of my sales over the phone. I've also done WhatsApp sales. Like if my Latin people, they use WhatsApp a lot. So I do a WhatsApp sale over the phone. Um, I do FaceTime sales. Um, so I've had a little bit of everything. No, no sale has been the same. It's weird. You know what I mean? So um, if you're comfortable with it, great. If you're not comfortable with it, just do what you're doing. Just normal over the phone stuff. It, it don't matter. Um, that's what I'm finding out for me personally. If I hear that somebody is very upbeat and very like, there's, I, you got to keep in mind, these are Facebook leads. So they're technology driven. You know what I mean? These are people, these are folks that are 50, 60 years old. Yeah. That on Facebook. They have an email, they have FaceTime, and they know how to use technology sometimes. That's right. Hey, so, so I'm going to cut you for just a second. Lou just got a Facebook lead in. So I want to let him, he's like, I got to go. But I want him, he said, I'll wait for a couple. So I'm like, all right, hang on. I said, you can go if you need to, because we, we understand it. But Lou, light us up for a minute, and then I'll, I'm going to, you can take off, do your thing. I'd, I'd love for people to be able to ask you a couple of questions. But um, I had, so this Give afternoon, any comments. Go ahead. yeah, a couple comments. This afternoon, I was dialing just a little bit, and I had Fabian. Uh, I was up there in Jacksonville. She was she was listening to me, and then she started dialing, and I forgot if she closed two or three. I don't remember. I apologize. Uh, she closed two or three, and all I did was when I was when we were sitting there doing the Zoom, I was just coaching her in the background. You know, just I heard this and say this, do that, and then she just got it and started closing deals, and she got it. I mean, she got punched in the mouth a couple of times, you know, hung up on or whatever, but she got, she started getting it. And she, net, then you saw a confidence building after the first one. It was pretty cool. Hey brother, what are they, I'm getting a lot of people, <laughs> not surprisingly, they want to know if you can make that call right now. And like, would you, would it bug you if, if we heard it? Hold on. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm muting everybody. Yeah, please. All right. So current and new participants will be unmuted or muted. All right. Everybody's muted. Lou. So, you guys ready? Here we go. Oh, hang on, Luke. What? You're good. I had to unmute you. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I put my headset in. Give me one second, guys. Hey, you're fine, brother. Don't mute Lou. Thanks, Terry.
No pressure, right? Yeah, don't even think about us. Just do you. That's two dials. It goes right to voicemail. Sorry, guys. That's okay. Thanks for trying. All good. All right. So it will, I, I, I have a feeling we're going to probably come out with uh, some of those videos here very soon. Um, I would. I would love to start doing this on Zoom, whatever. I would have zero problem doing it. That'd be great to do. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe uh, what we might do, and we'll have to kind of play it by ear, but if you could like, if you're getting ready to call, like you've got a, a few of them, I can do a Zoom with you, and even nobody else, and I can record it. You know, just like, even if it's just me and you, then I could post it, you know what I mean? Like, so we, you and I might be able to make this happen, or Brian, same thing, or whatever. So. Yeah. All right. So now that, that that's over, um, let's do this real quick. Questions for two of, uh, they're not going to like me saying this, two of the best Facebook salespeople in the country right now. Um, does anybody have any questions for them? I know a lot of you got, or got your answers uh, from some of the previous uh, panelists, but I uh, want to give you guys the opportunity because uh, here they are and they've got work to do after this. And if we don't, I'll just switch on over and I'll start doing like some of the technical training I promised a couple people I would do. So I'm gonna give it a minute. I'm looking around for the raised hand icon if anybody's got one. I think everybody was really disappointed that we couldn't hear it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Mary Petorius has got one, so hang on a second. All right, let me uh, unmute Mary and lower her hand. All right, Mary, go ahead, sweetie. Hi, everybody. Um, this is Mary. Yes, I want to thank you to everybody that's on the call tonight and actually gave us some very good information. Um, I do have a question I posted earlier, but I, I didn't know if you guys saw it. When you guys do these calls, have you um, thought about or have you even talked about any of our other products like the HMA that is being offered as well? The, you know, specifically since we're Stephen was listening to that. You broke up a little bit there, Mary. I think you have an unstable connection, but we, I think I heard the gist of it. The question was, uh, have we thought about doing any cross sales at the end of this? And so I, I'll speak for myself. Not yet. I'm still, so I'm still, I'm like that new agent just trying to get a close right now, but I'll let these other guys answer. They've got a little bit more experience than I do. Uh, uh, Rojas, <laughs> let, me, let me unmute you. But sorry, I'm part of my panel. And you're unmuted, buddy. Go ahead. And so, TIC, although, you're next. <clears throat> although I haven't done any HMAs or any cr chronic illness or anything like that, I have. Crystalline actually challenged me to get ERSs on their call from now on. So I started doing it and I got my first seven. So, you know. <laughs> so it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I, there. I know one of the thing. Uh, so Lou's got, he's holding three fingers up. It's either a gang symbol or. Three, three, three ERSs today from the one I did. Um, all right, there you go. So that's good. And I know that uh, one of the things Andy Riddle is, uh, he's talking to me about, he says that, um, what's it called? Is it, it's the, it's the critical care policy, the hospital yes. identity policy. Yes. He says he thinks this is wide open for that because we can sell that over the phone. So I, yeah. We just got to figure out how to transition after the sale. So yeah. uh, I, I think it's as easy as, you know, like, hey, so um, I can't do it right now. Like just almost like how we used to do, like if we're leaving the house doing an annuity, say, listen, I, um, you, you know, do you have any questions? I'm so sorry. I've got, we've got, I've got a ton of these right now, but one of the things I wanted to mention to you, um, we do have these hospital indemnity plans. Have you ever heard of that? No. Would you like me to call you back and give you some information? On it? Mm -hmm. I think that's how we can maybe. That's, that's wonderful. That's a wonderful transition. All right. Lou Body got his hand up. And then Tia, so, I do see you. So I'm going to mute Mary out and then we'll go to you next. Go ahead, Liz. So, so, I'm, so as soon as I'm done with them, I leave it open for another phone call uh, three or four days from now. I'm, so this way I can start thinking about doing other things about selling that because so I'm a little bit say, nervous. What are you saying to, to accomplish that, Lou? So as soon as I'm done with it, um, so, so Chris, um, it's all taken care of. It should take about a week or so, but everything should be going through. 
what okay. I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be following up with you in a few days. Um, is this normally a good time to reach you, say, on Friday, or Thursday or Friday? Yeah, and they'll go, yeah. Um, yeah, right now, especially. Okay, so I'm going to call you with the Thursday or Fridays to follow up, make sure if there's any questions by the carriers or anything like that, and just go from there. I'm trying to leave myself open. So now right. I'm starting to think about selling other things as I get them on the phone. I think that's beautiful. I love it. That's really good. Luke. I didn't mention the, the the product or anything like that, but I'm leaving yeah, but, it open for a second. But you're giving yourself a chance because even that, even when you call them back and say, "Hey, by the way, this right. is the Columbo move." Oh, you know, by, by the way, you're like kind yeah. of that sort of attitude. Good, very good. All right, and so I, I, Tia's had her hand up for a little bit, so let me lower her hand and un. Where'd she go? Tia, did I lose you? Hang on. Oh, unmute you. All right, Tia, can did I unmute? No. There's, you're, you're logged in twice, so I'm not sure. There we go. There we go. We can hear you now. Hey. Um, oh, Chris. it's Terry. Hey, buddy. It's not the beauty. It's the um, it's beast. definitely the beast. Right. <laughs> hey, so um, so thank you guys so much for leading um, and playing, playing team. And I think um, you guys are doing a great job showing that. And um, I'm so fired up for my dial session tomorrow. I don't know what to do. Um, and this has calmed my nerves so much. So oh, wow. um, thank good. you. Thank you all so much, man. And now's the time. It's just work at this time, guys. It it's is. just work. I really, I really believe that, Terry. I think this is, this is more work, less skill than we've ever had. Like, this is just work. Just follow the script. It's going to work. So I, that part I'm fired up about because I always try to think LTD, learnable, teachable, duplicatable. This is crazy duplicatable. Yeah. All right. So hang on. I've had somebody else raise their hand. Thank you for the for the kind words there too, my friend. All right. Mia Finelli or Finel, not Finelli. I don't know what's up here. Unmute and lower hand. All right. Go ahead, Mia. <laughs> Finelli. I don't know where that came from. I guess Chris. I want some Italian food. I'm on keto right now. Uh, they used to call me Mia Finelli in middle school. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So my quick question was, um, have you guys ran into any situations where you're having to create urgency with the client, remind them, you know, of what's going on or anything? And um, maybe I know one, uh, the reason why I'm asking is because I did an appointment last week over the phone and the client did ask me, can you email us some numbers so we can look at everything and then, you know, call us back in a couple of days so we can decide. I, I didn't really know how to combat that because it was new to me too. I had no idea. So I just did it. Um, yeah, and, but, well, first of all, I think, I don't think there's anything wrong with you just trying something. This is so new for all of us. And this is a whole new world. We're in a virtual world right now. So I don't, I don't think there's, I, I've done that myself. I haven't had any, a lot of success yet with it. Or let me, let me rephrase it. I've had zero success emailing <laughs> something back. But I'd like to open it up to Brian and Lou, especially, um, to answer that question. So, you guys. So, I got that a couple times. And I said, look, you are on Facebook just now. It is important for you to know. So, let's just get this going now. Because it was that important for you to be on Facebook to fill it out. And just as That's pretty that bold. Picture. It's pretty strong. Can you say it again, Lou? Yeah. You are right, on so Facebook where, now. Where, you, you, where, what, what kind of objection are you hearing when you say that, Lou? Like, well, if, you know, I was just thinking about it. I don't know if you are on Facebook now. This is the time to do it. This is the time you wanted to do it. You were thinking about it. Why did you take that time out? So let's just get it done now. <laughs> yeah. There's the eight out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty damn strong. All right, Brian, you got any, uh, any things or you just want to bow down and say a good job? No, you know what? I would have just used that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, you know, Riddle was talking about creating an urgency because we don't know what's going to happen with the insurance carriers. Mutual of Omaha already said if you have flown or had the virus or have on that state, we're not we're not doing anything with you. So you know, we don't know if all the carriers are going to start doing that. What if you get coronavirus tomorrow? You know, you're in California. Who's to say you don't get you don't get the uh, the virus tomorrow? And I, I, I think some of that is um, kind of goes back and I'm going to, Lisa, I don't know if you're still available because I, I just, I've known you for years now and I know you're going to have an answer for this, but I think a lot of this has to do with how we're, we're setting up the expectation during the beginning of the appointment, like, like the process. 
and then really digging into their why. Lisa, can you hear me? Do you have any comments? Yeah, give me a recap on that question. I was nope. typing. Some, I'm sorry. No, you're totally cool. So appreciate you coming back on. It was unexpected. Sure. I know. I know you're multitasking, sure. which is fine. But um, the question is, in fact, Mia, why don't I just, let's, let's just do it this way. Let me go find you real quick. I'm going to unmute you one more time and ask, because I want her perspective. I love Lou's answer. I want a female perspective mm -hmm. on this as well. So Mia, yeah. you're, go ahead. Absolutely. Hey, Lisa, again. Um, hey. Hey, girl. Was so, it urgency? Um, urgency? Was that it? Yeah, yeah. It was, I, I said that um, last week I had an appointment where they asked me to send, some, <laughs> send an email with the, with the numbers. So yeah, that was the, how, you, how are you creating urgency with so that? He, here's what I find with a lack of urgency is typically something that's not done properly on the front end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, when, when you have established uh, a trial close, uh, along the way and you've done the, the the beginning of your phone script correctly you mm -hmm. shouldn't have um it, it, it's almost like a natural progression for them to do the application okay so i i, I think yeah no, that was a good answer at least and that's i think i asked you because i thought I, I knew it would be in line with how i thought because you and i think so much alike <laughs> so that it, there's just an order to these things and the phone doesn't change that it's a it's a it's an intro it's a setting an expectation. It's a why. It's uh, it's an edification of that why, you know, and, and, and then I mean, and talking about that why, and then edification of that why, and then you move into to prices and everything else. Um, Joseph had a couple of comments real quick. Um, I'm going to unmute him. So thank you, Lisa, for taking. Sure, it. you bet. You can mute back out. Thank you. All right, Joseph, what were you just saying? I saw you type something up. Can you answer or address what you were saying? Yeah, so I, me, I did, I got a couple, like, a couple times I got to think about it. So I kind of just thought about, like, how we do in the house, um, how to handle objection before. So the next two calls that I made the sales on, I was constantly talking about um, and adding in that, hey, you know, right now with this corona thing going around, everything's changing. I mean, if you turn on the news, tomorrow something changes, this place is shutting down. As of today, the insurance companies are still accepting applications to see if people qualify. And this is kind of why they want us calling you guys right now, making sure since you guys reached out to us that because today they still are taking applications and tomorrow we don't know what's going to happen. And I use Lisa's line because she taught me this. Um, so kudos to Lisa at the end. I end it with, and one thing I will say, I will do the best I can uh -huh. so I can help you today. And we do have 30 days to make a decision, but as of today, we can still get the application in because tomorrow we, we're so uncertain of what's going to happen tomorrow. And I think people under, I think it's almost, I don't want to say I'm, I'm using the coronavirus. I guess I am, but there's so much uncertainty right now. Um, and it's true. I'm not lying. I mean, tomorrow, one day the St. Augustine beach was open. The next day it was closed. I mean, I don't know if the insurance companies are going to be the same way, but as of today, I'm here to serve you and I'm doing the best I can to help you. Right. Okay, perfect. And, and just to be clear, Chris, yeah. all the speakers you had on tonight, we're, they're all doing phone sales. This is not, nobody's asking to go back into the house at all, right? They're all phone sales. Everybody I had on tonight is doing nothing or is doing exclusively phone sales. Great. Thank you guys so much for answering all my questions. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Mia. All right. So she's muted too. All right. Thank you, Joseph. That, that was good perspective. And then, you know, and here's what I say, like Joseph made a comment. And I, mute, I muted you out there, Joseph. So if you, if you got some, just hit me up. I can unmute you. Um, I'm going to get, yeah, go ahead, Lou. Lou's got a bolt, so we know he's working. So thanks for jumping on. I know it's not thanks, your normal hotspot. So thank you, Lou. Um, I think it's okay to use the coronavirus as a crutch right now, but it's just, I, I think it's going to help us get comfortable over the phone. When this is all over, we won't be able to use it. But what we will have is a familiarity with doing phone sales. So use what you have to right now to, to kind of get you through this and making sales. And what's going to happen is you're going to become more and more comfortable doing this. And it's just going to be routine like it is for us now going inside the home. And so, cause I'm sure, you know, it's, especially if we can kind of have some of the success that we're, I, I think, and I'm not saying we'll never go back in the house again. I'm sure lots of us will, but the ability to work multiple States and work all day and just, I just think there's some real positives that could come from this. And if we learn it, we do it right. Um, we're going to be a, an incredible place. Brian, um, any, any last comments since you're my last panelist? I'm going to switch over to yeah. uh, like a technical thing here at the very end. Yeah, 100%, bro. I think the one thing that has helped me out, Chris, this is going to sound kind of silly, okay? 
Okay. But I really, um, I've really taken the uh, the Rocky Balboa approach. I am Rocky Balboa, and I am not afraid to get punched in the face. I know it's gonna hurt, but as long as we come in with the win, man, you know what I'm saying. I know I'm going into the ring to fight, um, and I'm not afraid to go in for for a couple. You know what I mean? Um, they're gonna hurt. It's gonna sting, but you're gonna win if you're if you just keep going at it. If you take, you know what I'm saying? If you take them to the last round, you're going to win, dude. So right on. that's the approach, dude. So anyway. All right, buddy. All right. So I'm going to kind of wrap this up. And then at the very, very end, I'm gonna, I've got uh, Andy said he, 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 I asked him if he'd come kind of wrap us up and give us some words. Uh, so he will. But I'm going to share my screen because this was a specific question that was asked of me today. And I thought I'd show everybody at once. So give me a second. I'm going to share my screen real quick. And which one is it? Um, Give me a second, guys. There we go. It's that one. All right. Can everybody see like my lead portal up? Uh, hang on. Y'all can't. Y'all can't talk. Brian, I'm gonna unmute you so you can be my feedback mechanism. All right, Brian. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. I can hear you. And you, can you see the screen though? The lead portal. Yes, I can. Okay. So this is what I'm getting ready to show, and I'm doing this for Stephanie Rodriguez. She's she's the one to ask. But instead of just answering her, I thought I'd answer her in front of everybody. So some other people could learn. I think, Brian, you had this question two nights ago. So one of the things is everybody's used to coming here on their lead portal and, you know, seeing their leads. So you can, I've actually come up with a system. Like if I give my leads away, I, like, I don't know if you're doing this or not, but like I go into the lead itself and you can change the status of it right here. And so oh. this is kind of cool. So like Doc sent. Instead of, I was marking it dead, but it's not dead. It just means like I gave some to Drew, for instance. He's on my team. And so I, I just know not to work those. Working the lead means I've made, I've made a contact. Because if you go into the lead, like you can see all the stuff. And I never have to print it this way, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I just, I basically work right from my lead portal instead of having a bunch of paper all over my desk. All right, so that's, that's one aspect of it. And, and like uh, if I make it a, so I'm not going to be doing this anymore. But, but so, so some of these have just told me absolute no, I mark them dead. So I don't, I don't keep screwing with them. I had, I was using the word processing as a status and I booked an appointment. We all know that that doesn't work anyway. Uh, here's one I closed. That means I sold it. It's in green. So that, that's one thing. The other thing I want to show you, and this was showed to me by John. I didn't, had no idea, but this is kind of cool. If you do want to print them out or you do want to send them or you do want to do like a, like you want to, um, what do you call it? Um, export them into a CSV file. So you click the filter lead. It looks like a little funnel over here on the right-hand side of your screen. You click it. It's going to take you to this screen. Now, you can filter on lots of stuff. Hmm. What I recommend you doing is just hit select all here, which is every state. So it's not really a filter so much, but this is we need to do this so we can see the next screen. And all of a sudden, I hit filter, and all of a sudden, I have a new field up here. Wow. You can... And right now, if I click PDF and I put Brian's email address in here, it's going to send him a zip file that has one file in it, and it's all of his combined PDFs in one file so they can print it. The other thing we can do is we can go to Excel. You can type in an email address, and you click Send, and it'll actually send you exactly uh, what, you, what you need. So if you're using Ziplet, for instance, um, I didn't realize it, but you can, do, you can change the fields you want to send. Like, I really only want to have, like, I know in ZipWhip, I'm going to need their primary phone, their first name, and their last name, and that's it. And then I would, I would put send on it and, like, put the email right here and hit send it. And then I can just take that and copy and paste that directly into ZipWhip if, you, if you're familiar with that process. Um, but that's how you do it. And so, Brian, I don't know, does that answer your question, bro, about, like, kind of what I was talking about? Yeah, it does. I didn't even know that you can switch off. I didn't know it either. Screen. That's insane. Yeah, it's crazy. So hang on. He's <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> I agree. Okay. Let me, um, I'm going to, I can't see people are asking me questions. I won't be able to see them. So let me get rid of this and pop this back up. Uh, bump, and then wow. here we go. All right. Joseph pulling away right now. Oh, I didn't know we had a lead portal. Okay. Uh, Chris, any advice on rolling into eApp when it comes to working with seniors, getting them to sign, et cetera? Uh, that's a little tricky, uh, Jack. Um, it, one, in one case, I used a daughter um, that was there. You know, she was younger. Um, 
I've got some techniques. I, it, 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 it varies. And it's, it's not one of those things I can kind of just give a blanket answer to. I'd be happy to kind of talk to you offline though. All right. So does anybody have any questions real quick before I let Andy Riddle wrap us up? So I'm just scanning the field, looking to see if anybody has any raising hands. It's been a good session. I appreciate everybody kind of, uh, especially the, um, I'm trying to find, there we go. All right, Olga Mathis, I'm gonna let you, ah, sorry. Hang on seconds. Dear, I messed you up. Olga, unmute. Okay, Olga. Hey, Chris. Hey, sweetie. I'm fired up about this training. Um, thank you so much to everybody because I, I am old school. I usually don't do e-apps. I start to do e-apps and I'm really slow. But you know what? It's time for me to start to do e-apps and start to do these calls and try to do uh, the way how you guys do it. And, and you guys fire me up. So much training to see new people su uh, having success and all that. So thank you so much for all this training thank because you. really wow. helped so much. Thank You've you been so a leader in so many ways, Olga. So it's nice just to be able to be able to kind of learn something. And I know it's not going to be very long before we're interviewing you <laughs> because you, I don't think you know how to lose. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm just excited that you're getting in the ring. So, yes. All right, yes, sweetie. I, I'm going to mute you back out and then I'm going to unmute our leader, Mr. Andy Riddle. Let's see if he, Andy, are you there, buddy? Yeah. Can you hear me? All right. I hear you great, buddy. All right, man. So guys, this is it. This is Andy Riddle. This is the guy I met 12 years ago at a Japanese steakhouse. He is really the reason most of us are on this call today. So um, I asked him, I said, hey, bro, could, would you got any words here? You just, you know, we've done some great training, but I'd love to hear from him just on his perspective on everything that's going on and if he's got any words of advice for us. So with that, I'm going to mute out and I'm going to listen to Andy Riddle. Awesome, man. Thank you, Chris, for doing this call. It was, it was crazy from Lisa, Annette, Brian, Lou, Joseph, just every one of those guys just dropping bombs with, with stuff that they're doing, it's working. And I just love the aspects of this team in the way that you guys have worked together to, to get to this point that we're at so quickly and sharing with all these other guys out there. It's, I know on Friday, a bunch of us were in the office and just getting, watching them get beat up and beat up and beat up as they're building what they were doing. But it was watching them getting better each time. And, and you guys doing that together was awesome. Um, so I appreciate it. There was actually a post on Van the other day uh, Jake and Bell Kraus posted it and um, she put on there she says don't fear the learning curve just get through it quickly success is on the other side of the battle fight fiercely my fellow warriors and she put that out there and then she put took a picture and posted her numbers and she um, Jake and Bell are out in Seattle so they've actually were starting to sell over the phone before we were um, or like a, they're like a week in advance of us. So Bell's numbers for March, the first two weeks of March, she was still able to go into people's homes. And the first two weeks of March, the first week she did 19, um, she did 31 appointments, 19 applications for just under $16,000. Week two, she did 30 appointments, 10 applications for $7,500. And that's when she was still going in the house. Week three was her first week doing telesales. She did 28 appointments. She had three sales for 5,400. Not a bad week, but way down from where she was in only the three sales. Last week was her first full week on telesales after going through that week of learning. She did 26 appointments, 15 applications for just over $3,500 for the, for the week. So it's, it's going to be cool watching all these guys that have been a week out there going through it. And, and working through their learning curves too. I'm super excited about it. Um, and Andy mentioned this the other day and um, Mike Levantovich posted it out there. And I think I posted it on our WhatsApp, but it's a Warren Buffett um, quote. It says, be fearful when others are greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. And it's the time where the world is so fearful. Um, it's a time to be greedy and go out there and get yours. You know, it's, it's a time that um, everything's lining up with the simplicity the leads sources we have, the cost of leads being way down right now, the ability to just sell over the phone, take advantage of this the best the, so fast. And, and uh, Mike Harley said it, we were showing the plan earlier at seven o'clock. I'm not sure if you guys listened or not, but um, Harley even talked about it. The, the news is basically free advertising for what we do. 
because they are freaking people out all day long, all day long. And when they get this, they're buying so much. And I just think it right now it's a time to just take such advantage. I was actually texting Brant while you guys were talking and um, just being like, this is nuts, crazy. And um, just with the, the abilities that we can do and just taking the lid off of it. And, and Brand was telling me he texts a couple of his older agents that haven't been doing much lately. And they're just so fired up that they can do this and get back plugged in. And I was like, dude, I was texting some of mine the other day. And then he, he's like, he's like, and the crazy part, it's so teachable because I can just sit there and do it and they can watch me do it kind of like what we had in the office. And I was like, dude, that's, that's, um, I'm fired up. That's right. I wasn't even thinking about that, but it's just crazy how simple it everything is and how it's, it's just, it's the best I've ever seen it. And I'm so excited about it. And I think it's one of those things where newer guys can pick up the phone sales, the ability to sell over the phone even faster than they could pick up the in-home presentation. So I think we can get newer guys selling faster, moving faster and going. And if we do switch back and go back in the house, they'll have this, this learning under them. So they'll even be better off there. Or even if we do a hybrid where we do both, it's still, it's, there's no negative to it. Um, so I'm super fired up. I hope you guys are. And again, I just, I appreciate <coughs> all the hard work you guys have done the last five days between doing national calls. And I know a lot of guys are getting pounded by other people wanting to do calls, but still protecting your time, still working with the team and still doing what you do. I'm just, I'm so proud of this team. I'm just, I'm just glad to be part of it. And, uh, I'm super fired up. I can't, um, uh, just so excited. I can't get over it. It's like, I'm having a hard time sleeping. I'm so excited. So um. <laughs> you know, Lisa said the same thing. She's so excited. She's having a hard time sleeping. <laughs> oh, I think a lot I, of us are like, I knew Lisa would be good at it, Chris. But when you told me earlier, I was like, she is a natural. It's like, she's there. And I was texting. I, um, <sighs> net, I was like, this is perfect for her. So I'm just, yeah. I'm so fired up. They're just grabbing it and going with it. And it's just, this is just the, and they're still going through the learning curve and yeah. having results. Tip of the ice. <laughs> you know, I just can't wait. So. Well, it's thank awesome. you for those are that was an awesome, awesome wrap up. So thank you so much, Riddle, for jumping on there. And I know you and you did a great job showing the plan uh, today or this evening. I, I did catch that, too. And uh, yeah, just providing a platform for us and leading us through this. So, um, yeah, it, it, it speaks volumes. So anyway. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of tonight's training. I did record the majority of it starting. Thank you, Andy Riddle. <laughs> and uh, I'll, uh, I'll get that process and we'll get it posted somehow here real soon. Just kind of stay tuned to either band and or the Riddle chat on WhatsApp. If you're not part of that, just let one of us know and we'll help you. With that, you guys have a great night and uh, we'll see you next week one way or another. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.